apps here. And today I'm going to show you how to put iAd into your app, the Apple-approved way, so that they'll accept it into the store. Most other YouTube videos don't seem to have this in their videos, but I'm going to show you. But before I get to that, I want to talk a little bit about SDK for you. Now, he actually has a really easy-to-use and easy-to-navigate-through site. He actually updates it uh, every day, and he actually has... Uh, the latest Apple news and tutorials. He actually has tutorials on Xcode here. Here, for example, the UI table, alternate colors, and he pretty much shows you code by code <laughs> the way uh, how to put it into your app, and it's really easy to follow. He also has the latest Apple news, and he uh, he updates it you know every day. So if you're an Apple fan, you're gonna want to follow him. Now he actually has it's his own site myrain.co.uk now it actually is a really uh... Oh, it's an also a really easy to use site and he talks about the jailbreaking world for apple he actually talks about the latest exploit and when the next jailbreak is going to come out and everything jailbreak wise so if you want to jailbreak your phone this is the site to go to and the guy to follow so just make sure you check him out he also has a YouTube channel which you can find by clicking on the YouTube link and yeah I should just make sure you check them out so now I'm gonna go into how to import the IAD the correct way so first of all you just want to make sure you have the IAD framework and then in the dot H you're gonna to want to declare it right there uh, the IAD slash IAD dot H then you're gonna to want to put the add banner view delegate right after the UI view control you want to have that otherwise it is not going to work well and Apple will not approve it. Then you want to have these two lines of code add banner view space asterisk add view semicolon next line bool space banner is visible semicolon. So this is pretty much you're just declaring it here and uh, you're actually not declaring it for interface builder but you're declaring it for the code in the dot n. So this is actually nothing in interface builder. You don't even need it. So here you're going to put add property uh, parentheses not atomic comma assign and parentheses so it's bool space banner is visible now you're gonna go into your dot m here I'll make this a little bit bigger I'll actually post the uh, I'll actually post the source code so you can just copy and paste it or just modify it off that uh, so you want to add synthesize the banner is visible you have to do that and then here um, you can have the the void banner view did load add method and the void banner did def uh, receive add with error and the banner view action should begin and banner view action did finish these four methods are the main four methods for iAd you have to have these four methods otherwise Apple is not going to approve it so pretty much here in this method you're just de declaring the frame and then these two coordinates is the x and y now the, o, the 0 and 50 is the top of the screen the bottom of the screen, I am not sure about. I think maybe it's 0 by 450 or something like that. But to check for yourself, just drag an add banner view to the bottom of the screen. Go to the third inspector panel to the coordinates. Copy down those coordinates and post them in here. The X goes with the X and Y goes with the Y. So just pretty much you just have this in the top or bottom, whatever you want. So pretty much you just... Uh, animating the ad, ad to go on here and then this is the main code Apple wants this code this is the main one that all these other YouTube videos do not have and I got so mad the first time that uh, I need to put iAd in my hat uh, in my app I had to go all around the internet trying to find out how to do this then I finally just uh, put my app in for Apple to approve and they declined it and they showed me this method now it's actually really easy to, to follow here you're pretty much just beginning the animation to go off the screen. So pretty much you want to have it to zero, comma, uh, negative 50. So it's going to be like off the screen and Apple won't see it and it's fine. So if there's no internet, it won't show, which is good. And uh, this you can actually test this by putting it on airplane mode, I think. These two methods are also pretty important because it helps the app at itself just launch the banner. And uh, pretty much, just it's a helper method. That's actually what it's called. Here, you make an NS log so you can actually track it in the console uh, once it's beginning the add action. 
and uh, to sleeving the application. And then once that method is done, uh, actually right here in the green, you can pause any video and audio just to make sure the app is fine and that the audio is still not playing when the iAd launches. Here in this method, the banner view did the uh, banner view action did finish. You're going to want to resume all the video and audio that you stopped, and you're going to want to put it again. So this is most likely, I don't know, for video, actually this video and audio. Let's leave it at that. So you're going to want to have down these four methods. I love the source code. And where you can actually just type this in. I'll just keep it here for a second. And this copy. You can pause the video if you want to. And you just want to have that. Now, in the view did load, this is actually the the, uh, the second most, actually that's the first most important part. You're going to want to have these lines of code, the add view, and you're pretty much initializing the frame for the, the banner view itself. So you're pretty much just uh, like simplifying the code up here and putting it in the view did load. Now this will slow down the app, like maybe like a, a millisecond while it loads because it is in the view did load and it has to do one other thing before it actually can load so just keep in mind that but it still does not cause any memory leaks so don't worry about that so just make sure you have all these codes here this is <coughs> this is actually for 320 by 50 if you want to change the orientation I recommend googling iAd suite Apple has their own sample code on this but this is pretty much the simplified way to do it then once to make sure you have no memory leaks, go to your view dlock after your super dlock here after the semicolon. Type in these two lines of code. Add view dot delegate is equal to nil semicolon start bracket add view release. So pretty much once you get rid of the view or exit the uh, exit the view, yeah, you're just pretty much uh, releasing it and making sure, making sure there's no memory leaks. So there won't be any memory leaks and it's going to launch correctly Apple will approve it and when you upload it to iTunes Connect you have to enable the settings to have iAds on otherwise if it's already approved and then you do and then you uh, turn on the settings for iAd it'll not work you have to have it before the app is in the App Store or in the edible state as they say so you do not need to do anything in the resources and it'll show up in the top so here we'll build and run. See, it does take a little second there to load. And then here we go. We have the test advertisement. So pretty much there goes the helper method to start it up, and it confirms that test ads are running correctly. Now, you can have anything you want here. Just uh, make sure whatever, uh, if you're going to put something like, say you go into Interface Builder, right? You do not want to put anything in this area, otherwise it's going to be cut off by the iAd itself. So what I recommend is put an ad banner frame there, and then what you're going to want to do is once you're done with the whole view, just delete the frame, and then it'll show out fine. But if you want something to show behind it, like an image or something, when it doesn't load, you can do that as well. So pretty much uh, the, the iAd does show there. Here, I'll load it again. And once the app does load, I think uh, I think in the simulator it only shows. There we go. Once it uh, it only loads when there's internet. So just make sure you have internet turned on your your computer so that the simulator shows it, and it'll show the test advertisement. So that's pretty much all you need to do. You don't need to do anything in Interface Builder unless you want to. Uh, like I told you, just don't put anything behind it unless you want to, and just make sure you have all this. So just make sure. If you want to put it in the top, it's 0, uh, comma 50. And if you want to put it in the bottom, just check what it is in Interface Builder. I'm not sure off the top of my head. So you're just going to want to have these four methods. I will post the source code. And that is pretty much it. Oh, and uh, 